So over here in character animator, we have our Photoshop character and we have our Illustrator character both here. So now what we can do is uh, we can track it out with webcam, but it won't work perfectly. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable my webcam right here. So it detects my face, but whoa, what, what is happening right there? So the head is actually floating up as you can see right here. It's not attached to the body. Let's try to see with the Photoshop one, I guess like that has the same effect right here, just like that. And uh, it actually floats above just like that, as you can see right there. So let's just get on head with the Illustrator character right here. And this is not I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the rig section. And why that is happening is because all of the layers are independent. I do not want independent movement on all of the layers. So I can just disable the crown right here. I do not want right profile or like I can just disable these out right here. So I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these to move independently right here. So right profile and left profile disabled. That's fine. Head and frontal. So body, the, so Bobby should move along with everything else. So I'm just going to keep crown on this one. So now let's go on to the record section right here. And now you can see that now Bobby is attached to the body. And as I move my head, the body floats as well. Same goes for the uh, Photoshop character as well right here. So what I'm going to do is going to go into the rig section. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, Photoshop character, not the smiley character right here, but the Photoshop character right here. You can see there's crown on all of them and that prevents it right there. So I'm just going to disable out all the crown right here. Disable the crown right there. No crown because I don't want independent movement on any of them. So if I were to go to record now right here, you'll be able to see that now the bobby, the head and the body that attaches together just like this. But it's wiggling, wiggling like a puppet right there. There's no movement, like uh, the head is not fixed or the legs are not fixed. For that, what I need to do is I need to pin uh, the feet in place. So let, let us just do the same right here. So if I were to go over here on to this character right here, uh, now the head is fine, the head is being tracked, but what happens is that uh, his feet are not pinned to the ground. So I'm just going to select this pin tool right here. And then what I'm going to do is click here, just like this. So the, the layer right over here needs to be selected right here. So the body right here needs to be selected. Let me just press Control Z right here. And I'm going to the frontal part right here, just like this. This is the frontal part. I'm just going to pin this to the ground right here. And then I'm going to go around and pin this one on as well. So let's just go over here and move that around just like this. So if I were to go over here on to the record portion now and then go on to this character, let's just see right here, you can see that now um, my head does move right here. So we need to just uh, increase out the layer arrangement in Illustrator and so forth in order to correct that out. But anyways, you can see right here that let me just uh, set the rest pose right here. Okay, so there you go. So now if I were to move this around, you can see that it is pinned to the ground. The legs are pinned to the ground. It does not float as much. So just go on to the rig right here, pin that out in place. I'm just going to pin these out in place right here. Same goes for the other character as well. So I'm just going to pin out the frontal part. So this is going to be the frontal part right here. So I'm just going to pin this and pin this out as well, just like this. So once I go into record right here, just like that, and go into uh, scene one right here, uh, you'll be able to see that it has pinned onto place right here. And I actually think like uh, the Photoshop character is working out better than the Illustrator character for some reason. But anyways, you can see that as I move the head now, uh, the legs and everything is pinned onto the place. And that's how you make um, things independent inside of Character Animator. And then you uh, pin things uh, pin things like uh, in character, in character animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.